In this video, we'll be going over our unit testing framework in Gaia. Unit tests are important to make sure we don't cause regressions, and it's best practice to check in a unit test with any JavaScript change. We'll be going over how to run and create these tests. In order to run the Gaia unit tests, you'll need to have Gaia working in a browser. You can watch the first video of this series if you're unsure how to do that. Additionally, you'll need to install Node.js if you don't have it. Node.js.org provides a quick and simple one-step install for Windows, Mac, and Linux. All of our tests are written in JavaScript. We use the Mocha test runner with Chai assertions, and you can visit these URLs for more details. Additionally, I'll have these URLs in the video description. There are two pieces to our testing framework which you'll need to run. The first is the test server, which runs on the command line and monitors the file system for changes. Whenever a test or file is changed, it will automatically trigger a run of the corresponding unit test. The test agent is run inside of a browser, which is running the Gaia profile. This connects to the test agent server and runs tests inside of an iframe proxy. To start the test agent, simply look for the test agent app inside of Gaia and launch it. Be sure to do this after starting the test server. Now I'll show you how to run a test inside of Gaia. The first step is to open up your command line and cd into your Gaia folder. We're going to start the test server with a simple make command, and I'll type make test-agent-server ampersand. The ampersand is to start the test server in the background. The first time you run it, it will take some time because it has to download a lot of NPM libraries. Now that the server is running, let's go ahead and open the test agent inside of Gaia. I have Gaia running here, so let me open it up and find the test agent. In my case, it's here, but this location might change. The UI isn't too pretty, but we're mainly focused on the command line here. I'm able to run all of the unit tests with a single command here, and I can type make test-agent-test, and this would run every single unit test that we have in Gaia. Instead, that's going to be too long, so I'm going to run tests for a single application. I can do this with is adding a simple app equals and then the name of any application. In this case, let's run the test for the browser. As you can see, all tests pass. Great! Tests are located within each application inside of the test unit directory. Let me show you where the browser tests are located. So in the browser application, there is a test folder, and inside of that, a unit folder exists. Here you can see all the various tests we currently have for our browser. Each test file corresponds to a single JavaScript file minus the underscore test extension. So I should be able to go into apps slash browser slash JS, and in here I should see a browser extensions.js file. Sure enough, here it is. In addition to being able to run the entire test suite, or for a single app, you can leave this running in the background and run tests during your normal dev cycle. Each time you make a change to a test or a file, it will run the corresponding test. For example, let's try to make a change to a browser test and see what happens. So here I have my console, which is running the test server, and here I have my code, which is running browser tests. So let me make a simple change to this. And when I save this, it should run the corresponding unit test. Actually, I saved the unit test, so it runs the test. But if I save the file, it would also run the test. And let me show you that now. So just make any change to the file, and it will run the test again. I can introduce a failure to the test to show you what that looks like. As you can see, one of our tests has now failed, and we're given a stack trace of the failure. This makes development very fast and very rapid when you're running the test agent server 
alongside your development environment. Generally, when I develop, I try to run the test agent and test server in the background for instant feedback. Thanks for watching and happy unit testing.